Okay, so first off, I'm going to rant a little bit, and that's because I get complaints that, you know, people say, oh, Isaac, there's these online churches, and they're doing the online thing, and they're only online, yada, yada, yada. And look, I love the online churches. I think that's great. I think it's awesome that they're doing that. But here's the thing. 90% of churches are under 500 people. They're trying to, to reach out to people that are in their, their area, and I want to help you. those churches use digital to do that. There's going to be churches out there that, like I said, they're just, they're strictly online. They don't have a, lo a location or a region that they're called to. That's fine. Um, you know, they're called to a subset of people that are strictly on the internet. Um, they're doing, they're doing good work. Good on them. That's not for everybody. There's, there's a very limited number of churches that do that. There's a limited, there's a, I think there's a kind of a limited calling for that. I don't think God has actually called every single church to be a just online church. I don't think that would make any sense. Um, you know, maybe if we all jack into the matrix or something, okay, but we're not at that point. I don't see us getting to that point. I think people still like to have an actual physical, honest to goodness world that they live in. You know, I think if you invite somebody to, to lunch, that's still going to mean a lot more to them than anything else. Um, you know, I, I don't think you can fully replace sitting down with somebody over coffee. Um, you know, prove me wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to listen. I know that Zoomers, the lines are a lot more blurred, but I still think even like with a Zoomer, um, you know, I've, I've worked with a lot of young people. I started off in young adults ministry, children's ministry, stuff like that. I still see the same behaviors from, from young adults, kids and stuff. They still would love to go to an actual place. Um, and do an, do an actual, you know, sit down with somebody to actually do something. So that is what it is. All right. <clears throat> Ranting aside, even though I'm not super hot on doing church strictly in a, in kind of like a digital world or, or, you know, like a metaverse or a VR world or something, I do think that it is th that there's valid opportunities even for you know, that 90% of churches out there, uh, online. And in particular, I want to talk about the Azure credits that you, that as a nonprofit, you are entitled to from Microsoft. So you have 3,500 us dollars each year in Azure credits and Azure, what it kind of is, is, you know, software as a service platform as a service, it's, uh, infrastructure as a service. What that basically means is there's a bunch of computers sitting in a whole bunch of data centers around the world, and you can run programs, store data, things like that off of these. Well, one of the things that you could do with, with those would be to fire up a gaming server. And I know what you're thinking at first, you're going gaming server, is that youth ministry? No, not really. Um, even if you started up something like a Minecraft server, the average Minecraft player is 24 years old. That's a, that's solidly within Zoomer territory that you're trying that you're probably trying to reach and have been struggling to reach. Um, average gamer overall is 37 years old, so they're well within kind of that millennial range, and you're going to find plenty of Gen Xers like me that are still actively gaming. Um, maybe not as much as we used to, but we still are and we still like it. Um, and I mean, let's 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 be totally honest. Um, you know, when I was a kid, Atari and Nintendo were things. And so we've just grown up with it and it's kind of a habit. We enjoy it. It's one of our ways that we blow off steam. And it's one of the ways that we do connect with other people, with other people is over, um, gaming, especially online, uh, multiplayer type of gaming. So yes, there's that, that whole issue of if you set up a server, anybody in the world can connect to it, but if you're setting it up close by, you're bringing down that latency. So mostly people that are close to your area are the ones saying, Oh, that, that server over there has got low latency. That's, that's one that I want to join. But if you're also listing out that, Hey, um, you're kind of an interest group one, like, you know, if you're in Seattle and you say Seattle gamers or Seattle, whatever the game is, players unite or, you know, whatever, then they're seeing, okay, low ping. Oh, this is my area. Yeah, I want to I want to connect up over here. Let's these are I'm like them. I'm from this area, so they're kind of like me. I'm like them. I want to join them. Which works a lot to your advantage as a church. So that's the start. Um 
few caveats as you when you go to 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 do these things. One, you're gonna you're gonna want to set up a Discord to go along with your server. That's just the place where people are gonna go and connect to each other. They're gonna talk to each other. They're gonna grow their relationships when they're not playing games together. Um, <clears throat> and you would think that you know the whole sole focus is the gaming. It's actually not. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of groups and things where the main gaming night is maybe once a week for a couple hours, but then they've throughout the whole week. They've got discussions and other things kind of popping up or, or people posting memes or things like that. And sometimes they're c connecting and getting into deeper conversations. Um, I've been in ones where, you know, and this is, this is non-Christians in this one. They're discussing like, you know, the struggles of male suicide after one of their friends um, killed himself. And they, they, everybody started talking about how we have to be more open, w you know, with, with other guys and, and not try to just be uh, strong and silent, but, but that it's okay to say, hey, I'm struggling right now. I've, I've had some, some thoughts. Um, that was really productive. That's the kind of thing that I would hope to see in a small group, but oftentimes I don't see in a small group where you know, everybody's so closeted and, and afraid to be vulnerable, but, the, but people will actually get pretty vulnerable because they've been interacting so much kind of over these shared experiences of gaming, uh, which is often just completely lacking in small groups. Um, but that's, that's a whole other complaint I have about small groups is that they don't, sometimes they don't really understand how uh, guys in particular operate and work probably a future video uh, some at some point on that and pull out my old um, I used to be a small groups instructor uh, I actually think I'm still credited accredited with that I think I still have credentials <laughs> I'd have to go go look but uh, yeah I used to I used to instruct uh, small group leadership alongside uh, church strategy still do church strategy more more or less <coughs> Anyhow, uh, set up the Discord. Uh, also, you're going to want a few people that are going to be your, your volunteers to moderate. And for this reason, I say between, you know, just not wanting to have an empty server per se that's just running without anybody actually in it, um, just have, set up Azure, start up the server for like, you know, your game server for maybe like four hours on a Saturday morning or on some evening of the week or something and just have it be something where you send in quite a few, quite a few people from your, your church that like to play these games and are willing to interact with people um, that come in and, and play because, you know, let's say that you've got room to have like 24 or 32 players, you know, send in eight or so of, of people from your church that are willing to kind of interact with these people, talk to them, um, you know, tell them, God bless you, pray for them before the certain, before, you know, before gaming or, or stuff like that, that's going to be a huge impact. Um, you're going to connect with a lot of people. People are going to start kind of pouring from that game server into your discord. Um, and from your, from your discord, they're going to connect with each other more deeply. And eventually they're they're If you're doing this all right, they're going to be in your region and they're going to be start finding their way into other parts of your church. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe you're doing alpha or some sort of, you know, Christianity explored or, or some sort of, of, uh, thing that you would do along people's progression, then people, you know, they start getting volunteering and doing things like that. Um, they're probably gonna start volunteering back into that ministry that they came through. But, um, you know, your, your church is growing. You are reaching people in your region and in your area that are kind of in that, uh, demographic group that you're called to. And so do consider it, consider going down the gaming route. Um, so, Probably the first step that I would take at this point is, you know, go around to some of this, some of the people that are in that group you're looking to reach. Um, you know, if you're looking to, if you've been called to reach, you know, blue collar guys in their twenties in your area, you know, talk, talk to someone and be like, Hey, like, do you ever play, do you ever play video games? What do you, what do you like to play? What are your favorites? And they might, they might name a few that, you know, don't actually have uh, servers or things but if you can find one where you can go where they say oh yeah, i like this this particular game and you find a few people that like to play it kind of in your area then you can i guarantee you you're, there's going to be more out there that aren't christian that aren't in your church that are willing to that, are, that would like to to join a community where that's being played that's actually local um and so do that go go start talking to people ask them ask them what they like to play and find a find kind of a an opportunity where you can fire up a gaming server. Um, 
because like I said, most of the costs are already being covered for you and your volunteers, they're first off, it's going to, it's going to be the most fun ministry in your church probably. Um, aside from maybe children's ministry, but it's going to be a toss up at this point, but, uh, give it a shot. Um, start off and give it a shot. All right. That is all I have for you guys this week. I hope you've had an awesome week this week, and I look forward to talking to you guys again next week. Okay, now tell everybody to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe.